Hello, everybody, and happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday, and I'm back with a weekly live chat. I think it's been a couple weeks since I did the weekly review, whatever. Let's talk about what's been going on this week and just to hang out and see what's been going on. Let's be redundant. How about that? Um, so yeah, hey, it's it's Easter. Apparently, I am just going to go ahead with this redundancies. Um, but hello, if you're new here, welcome. I talk in circles, and I go around and around, and I waffle. So my name is Margaret. My channel is Texas Gal Treasures. I make videos all about making money, saving money, learning new things so that we can expand our business and know what to look for when we're out and about. So hello. Yes, a lot has been going on in the last few weeks, so I thought I would come on and just share. I've got a list of some of the things to talk about. Um, yeah, because most of the videos I've been putting out lately have been pretty informational, and this is just a more informal what's been going on. So as you guys may or may not know, you probably know, um, we are going to be moving to Austin. So we've been doing quite a bit of downsizing or attempting to, rather, uh, it's tough, right? If any of you guys have moved and that are that are resellers before, even if you're not a reseller, moving is hard. Well, we've got all this stuff, we've got a lot of my grandmother's stuff, and we're trying to get downsized and moved, um, so it's easier to do that. So yeah, um, we, yeah, it's been tough. So we, I took a picture of a while back of my, the storage locker that that's my grandmother where a lot of my grandmother's stuff is being housed. Um, I think I put a little video clip of it to show like the sheer number of boxes that we've got in there. So I went ahead um, and we made two or three trips, I think two trips to start downsizing that. And yeah, it's been kind of tough just going through it, figuring out like, what are we going to keep? We put um, some things in a garage sale. We had a garage sale. This weekend, we had one a couple weeks back too. Just trying to get rid of things so that we don't have to move it for, yeah, for the move. Anyway, there's like nobody in the chat, which is freaking me out. I don't know right now. Maybe because it's Easter. Uh, yeah, it's or April Fools. Maybe who knows? Whatever. We'll just go ahead. If you're watching this later, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I've gone to the storage locker, you know, getting things out, but it's put it into perspective going through my unlisted inventory in my workroom because my grandmother, like downsizing my grandmother's stuff has got a lot of sentimental value. So when I'm going through now through my unlisted inventory, I have a dollar sign that I've like assigned to these items because I picked them up thinking I'm going to make money on them. Um, so it's making a little bit easier for me to go through and downsize that stuff because I it, I was struggling getting rid of anything in my workroom because of that. You know, you buy it for a quarter and you think, oh, I'm going to make $20 on this thing. But now it's just like, okay, it's just time to let it go. Let it go out into the world and another reseller or somebody can pick it up and it'll be okay, right? So, hey, in the chat, you guys. I don't know, it's just like normally there's somebody in there and today it's really quiet. But it is Easter, so a lot of people are probably with their families. I am with my family too. It's just we had lunch and now it's quiet time. So that's when mommy gets to do her work during quiet time. So, yeah, we. I hope you guys are having a good – if you celebrate, we don't do a whole, whole lot. We just – we dye eggs and we Easter egg hunt and then what else do we do? We today because the kids I mean, they don't really like to to eat the warm eggs after they've been in the grass and stuff out, out, out while we Easter egg hunted them. So I decided today we were going to do these egg drops. So we got like the, um, Ziploc bags, like freezer bags with the zippers. And we filled them with different things like hair gel and cotton balls and like so each bag was filled with different beans and couscous, rice, whatever. And then like they climbed up this big tall ladder and we're dropping them to see which ones would break. So that was fun. We did that big confetti fight. So I'm still finding confetti everywhere. Fun times, fun times. <laughs> thanks Lisa in the chat. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So that's what we, that's what we did today anyway. Um, and then Randy made some, made some meat. So we had some meat today. 
Yeah. So hopefully you guys are having a good time if you're with your family or whatever else. Anyway, so what else? Last weekend, I was up in Dallas. I got to hang out with my buddy Jason, Jason T. Smith, because he was he was um, having a seminar up there, thrifting classes and stuff like that. So I got to do a mini presentation with them about jewelry, like how to get started selling jewelry and what to look for and things like that. So that was fun to do. I didn't get to spend as much time as I wanted um, with Jason. I had one of my boys with me, so I couldn't go out to some of the nighttime, like party, you know, let's go ride a bull and whatever. I don't know what else they did. But anyway, I didn't get to do that because I'm not going to drag my kid to a bar. I don't know. I just not. <laughs> Supposedly it was a family friendly place, but uh, no, I just didn't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no judgment if you do. Okay. So talked about the storage locker. Um, eBay and Etsy has been going pretty well. Um, because I'm downsizing, I put my stores on, most of my stores on 50% off. So I've been getting quite a few sales. The goal tomorrow is to do a sales update so you guys can see what's been selling. Um, last week, I think I did one. It was like my the hardest sales update I've ever had to make because so many things were selling for way less than I thought they would. But they are selling, right? And I was getting comments like, hey, your sale prices are still higher than my normal prices. I do, I price high. I just do, so I don't know. <laughs> but they're selling, so this is good. So I'm still selling things. They're going out, it's going out the door, yay. Um, and then I did a, okay, I did this for fun. Tell me what you think. If you're watching now or you're watching later, if you like the jewelry jar videos, I did a video where I unjarred a kid's jewelry jar, but I pre-recorded it. And so I was, I had it facing down where it was like my hands and the, you could see all the stuff in, in the camera, not so much me, right? Um, or facial expressions or whatever. So I, I, and the thing is I get people on both ends saying, I like it this way with, with just your hands and the jewelry. And some people are like, no, I want to see your facial expressions and I want to see your like, ah, what I do, whatever. So let me know. Um, which way you like it, I'll probably just do it both ways because you can't make everybody happy. But the funny thing was, I was like, I'm gonna see if I can make money off this kid's jewelry jar, right? I have had more people contact me to buy stuff from that video than I have from other jewelry jars. Because sometimes people will say, oh, I really like that you know, elephant necklace that was in that jar, can I buy it from you before you list it? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Hey, Ann in the chat, <laughs> happy Easter, Ann. So I have had so many people contact me to buy stuff from the kids' jewelry jar that I'm like, wow, all right. So I made my money back on that already. So that was cool. Um, so don't, don't discount kids' jewelry jars <laughs> because there was some cool stuff, right? Yeah, Mickey says, I like it both. Keep us on our toes. Hey, in the chat, thanks for commenting, you guys. I was like, well, maybe because I didn't share it out either. I was just like, let's just do this, right? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are, we need to go buy some peeps. My kids were kind of not really upset, but they're like, we don't any peeps. Really? This is another weird thing. Totally off topic. I was woken up last night by a possum. Yeah. Um, I heard, kept hearing this like scratching noise, like, and so I thought somebody was on the back porch, like trying to take our bikes or something. I don't know why. But so I went and looked and there was this possum on our back porch. That's sort of just out of nowhere, but hey, that's what happened. So, ooh, split screen. Well, that is a, that would be a technical challenge for me, Lisa. Challenge may be accepted. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We're just talk. We're just chit chatting. If you guys have questions too, throw them at me because I've got I've got a list, and then I'm just like, let's just hang. I just want to hang with you today. That's all. Can't we just hang? Come on, man. Let's just hang out. The Texas version of the Easter Bunny, the Easter Possum. That's right. My son was like, how cute. You know, people keep those as pets. I was like, the heck they do? Who? Who? And then it turns out he was talking about raccoons. I was like, yeah, okay, that's different. Raccoons are still trash pandas, but this was a straight up possum, which is like a giant rat, you know? 
Um, what, Kaylee? In the if you're watching later and you're like, what? Who are you talking to? Look in the chat. It's you can watch it on the side or down below. She says, I don't do my rainbow loom stuff anymore. I listed for best offer last month. Someone bought it all. Give me two hundred bucks for it. So her kids took the offer and oh my gosh, wow. Because we have some loom band stuff too in there. That's the stuff with the little rubber bands, right? All little rubber bands and all that. Oh, we have some of that. My son just had to get into it. And then he couldn't do it. So mommy just had to make it for him so he could have some to trade. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So the update on the move is we're still moving to Austin. Um, we've got an apartment up there. Things are kind of slow going, though, because I don't want to move all this stuff. So we're just like downsizing. And, and somebody in one of the other videos mentioned that she just like put her store on vacation and then it was either the same person or somebody else said she just stopped and that was like got rid of everything and started over which i'm super tempted to do not everything i mean like keep the jewelry but like some of my bags and breakables especially now that i've been going through my grandmother's stuff it's like way easier to look at my inventory and just go it's just stuff right um so we're, we're excited. Um, so house hunting, I, we've just been looking online. We're going to be going back up this week to, to do a little more digging um, on houses. And we're looking at, because you guys know I live like a mile from my parents. So I'm like the, I'm like the kid that's in charge of the parents now. Lucky parents. Um, so we're, we're looking for a house that's going to be big enough for everybody maybe so i mean it sounds big but we're looking for a five bedroom house and it may be just we may be out of our minds but you never know till you start looking right so we're looking kind of further out to see if we can find something that's got five bedrooms like a mother-in-law suite right so if my mom and dad have to come they've got a place yeah anyway so there's that so and it may be, be a pipe dream that we can afford something like that but we'll see We'll see. Because, I mean, my mom, okay, my mom, who may or may not watch this, she, she anyway, <laughs> she's not happy that we're moving. And I may have told you this before. So I was telling her, okay, you know, you know the best time to put the house on the market, whether we're going to sell it or rent it, is right around, like, May. This is what my friend AJ is telling me, who's a realtor. So April, May, June, you know, when people are moving during the summer before school starts up again. So my mom's just sitting there nodding along. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's probably that's a probably a good idea. And I was like, yeah, so I'm gonna go pick up boxes from Tang today. She's like, boxes for what? I was like, mom, boxes for moving. She was like, you mean this year? I was like, yes, mom, this year. Like, Randy got a job in Austin. What do you what do you think's gonna happen? We're gonna be like, we're just gonna stay here while Randy goes off and has this job, and we'll see you next year, Rand. Right? Like, yes, mom, now, like in the next couple months, we're like going. That's the update. <laughs> so, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I, I'm trying to like ease her into the whole like, okay, we're, we're trying to find a place that's going to be big enough. We're trying to find a place that, you know, you can come and spend a week or two or if you need. She needs to let you grow up and do whatever you want. Kaylee says, dream on. <laughs> I wish. My, like my brother, my older brother, when he went off to A&M, no big deal. You know, my, uh, for whatever reason, my mom's like, like, this is, nah. yeah, you can't let go. Like when I wanted to go off to school, that was like not an option. And for whatever reason, I'm just talking like a valley girl today. Yeah, so um, my brother, had, she had, he had no problem. Oh, yeah, go move. Oh, you want to go do a mission trip and wherever? Go for it. You know, Margaret, you want to go to Dallas to go to school? No, no. Stay here, Margaret. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And she says, I totally understand on caring for the parents. Definitely as big as you get as big as you can. Even if they don't move in with you, you can fill it up with inventory. Yeah. And so we don't have basements. I don't know if they have basements in Austin. We don't have basements here because we're on sea level and they would just get flooded. So I don't know. My kids are super excited because we have a one-story house now and they're like really excited that we might get a two-story house. Yeah. Okay, let me read back in the chat and then I'll jump back into my notes. 
Um, uh, Anna says, do you ever deal with jewelry from QVC or JVT, JTV? Um, it just depends. I, I, there was some, I had some that was like Joan Rivers, which I think she sold on QVC, which was okay. Um, so you like, so, okay, split screen. We talked about that. Uh, loom band. Thank you. I can't read. She just can't hold me back. Um, yeah, go ahead and, no, go ahead and try to make as much money off it before you can, yeah. Well, the problem is with shutting my store, is not wanting to shut my stores down, well, or wanting to rather, is I'm homeschool, so there's a big chunk of my day, you know, homeschooling, and then trying to pack, trying to downsize, and then it's like, oh no, I've got, I've got orders I need to ship out, you know, so I'm just like, ah, all over the place, and then there's like, you know, cooking, and like taking care of my kids. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence. So some of the things that there's a local garage sale site. I've been posting some things up there. Yeah. How many rooms, how many rooms that you like? Well, at the moment we have a four bedroom. One room is like my, my work room, you know? So yeah. Um, mother-in-law suite. Yeah. And that's what I told her, like, star, if we can find one with a mother-in-law suite, that kind of got her excited. Cause then she's like, could I decorate it the way I want it? I was like, yeah, if we got a mother-in-law suite, you could decorate the room. I guess, you know, I guess that's fine. It's like, you know, but if somebody else comes to stay, they'll just be staying in your room. Um, oh, nice. Okay. Prairie pickings, we just moved. The neighbors have the same floor plan as our new house. They converted the whole basement for their parents. Oh, that's cool. Great to see two families co housing. And see, that's what's going to, I mean, especially since my dad just had his knee replaced. And so he was in this like nursing facility. Oh, I still have to upload that, you guys. This is so funny. Okay. So he's, he was in this like nurse, it was a nursing home basically, but he was supposed to be in a rehab place. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. So that was like a wake up call. My parents were both just, you know, my grandmother never stayed in any, she stayed home. We, we ever, you know, we just stayed here with her. Um, so that's like how our family does. We didn't put them away. So my parents are really like, no, we're not going into a nursing home at all. So um, <clears throat> where was I? Oh, the, oh, the ride along. So my sister and this garage sale ride along that we have recorded, I haven't edited it and put it up yet. She finds this painting um we may have shared it in a haul video but not in the but i haven't done the ride along but it's this big cactus desert scene and the painting in his room when he was at the nursing home was just horrible and so we were going to sneak it in to the nursing home and put it on the wall and so we did uh so i need to like put that video up <laughs> of her bringing it in my brother was like why are you sneak you don't have to sneak it in nobody cares <laughs> like they don't even care enough to come help them get out of the shower. They're not going to care if you're carrying and painting through the building or whatever. It was bad, and it looked nice. It, like when we first got there, it was like, oh, this is a nice place. No, looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Um, let me see real quick in the chat. Thanks, everybody. Uh, trying to be super mom. Yeah, yeah. Let's just just watching some mystery box videos. Ooh, a hundred bucks a box. Pack everything up. And, oh, charge a hundred bucks a box. And you know, I did do some like reseller de stash videos a while, like where I sold, de I was de stashing stuff. And I wouldn't mind doing that again, but a lot of the stuff I have still is breakable. And so that's like a pain to try to like make sure I wrap it up in a big box and not ship it and not break any of it. So that would be, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's doing okay. He's back home. He got kicked out of the nursing center. <laughs> they kicked him out um, because they took, you know, they helped him get to the bathroom. And then, like, this is probably maybe TMI, but he doesn't care. Um, they helped him get to the bathroom so he could use the bathroom. And they left him there. It was like 45 minutes. And they never came back. And so he had to try to, you know, he's the neighbor. He had to try to figure out how to get back to the bed. Um, so he made it back to the bed finally. And then when they came in 45 minutes later, they were like, how'd you get out of the bathroom? 
He's like, I had to figure it out because y'all left me in there. And they're like, well, if you can make it from the bathroom to your bed, you don't need to be here. So <laughs> tell your family to come and get you. So basically like two minutes later, two days later, he was out. <laughs> yeah. Kicked out of the nursing home. <laughs> But I, that's, I mean, that's what I was telling my, Elaine, I was telling my sister, like, look, this may be way better. Okay. One, my mom's like nervous about driving all the way over there and back because it was kind of far. And we were like, my sister, especially because she was here to help take care of him. So she'd be like cooking him meals and bringing up because the food was horrible. Sorry, we're on nursing homes now. Um, yeah. So she was like cooking meals, taking him meals, you know, bacon and eggs and stuff like that because it was just, it was bizarre. I mean, it was so bizarre. Um, horrible. Uh, yeah. So we were up there two or three times a day and we just felt horrible because there were so many people there whose families weren't there checking on them, making sure and stuff. It was, uh, mm -mm. you know, so yeah. yeah. So he's, he's back home. <laughs> Luckily. I think it's better too. It'll be better because he's a gardener, so he can be out in the yard and watch his bluebirds that are nesting now. And yeah, it was horrible. It was horrible. Yeah. Anyway, so um, how's he feeling? I'm getting your knee replaced. He's doing really well, Maggie. I mean, he's his recovery is a little bit. A, a lady from his gardening club had the surgery done the same day, so she's been pushing it too hard. And so she's been having a little bit of a setback. He's been taking it easier. He, it's slower for him. He's got he's got diabetes, so it's a little bit slower on him on his recovery time. But he's moving around. I mean, now he's walking around with a cane, and you know, it's, he's still stiff a bit, but he's he's doing all right. Don't go to the nursing home <laughs> here, <laughs> anyway, unless you've got somebody to come bring you meals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cindy says, I hate nursing homes. Told my mom I would never put her in one if she could not speak for herself. Totally. Yeah, I mean, we would go through there and just like there would be people in the, I don't know, cafeteria area and they're just foreheads on the table just sitting there. Yeah. Um, what does he do in the garden? What does he play? He does everything. He's a major, he's, he's in Master Gardeners, Brazoria County Master Gardeners. And he he's in Daylily Society and yeah. He's out there. I mean, he there's bluebirds nesting in these boxes he puts out and he orders mealworms. He calls them mealyworms. And like he puts them out and like, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Sorry about the nursing home talk. I didn't mean to make it sad in the chat. Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. I have my list. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. We can talk about it if you want. Yeah. A woman's best friend is her daughter. I don't have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, darn. Randy. No, never mind. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, hear that, Phyllis. No, I was joking. That that nothing. Never mind. No more babies. No, no more babies. <laughs> I don't have a daughter to take care of me, darn it. Okay. So <laughs> next up. So we have, like I said, we've been downsizing. We had a garage sale. I have been going through my jewelry because, as you know, you guys know, I have a lot of jewelry that's not listed because I have, you know, I'll get lots or I'll do jewelry jars. So I've got these bins where I'm sorting them out. Like, this is one that I'm planning on listing. Here are some that they're really good, but I don't think I'm going to list them. So I'm gonna, I use them for my mystery lots. And then the rest is like, eh, I was planning on maybe doing like a junk drawer lot or, you know, it's missing stones lot, that kind of thing. And I just decided I don't have time for that. I'm going to redonate it. So this was, I had a third pile that was just like, okay, this is going. So James took it, you know, and said, hey, well, this is your pile that you're redonating. You're getting rid of it anyway. Can I go through it, he says, and start picking things out um, that I want to keep, that I want to try to resell, that whatever, right? And he, so he's picking out all these broken watches and things. And at first he's like, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to keep these watches. He's going to pick them apart. But then he starts picking out other stuff. And he's like, can I sell this in the garage sale? I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, well, can I sell these broken watches, like $2 a watch? I was like, yeah, dream on, kid. Um, sure, go for it, right? 
a broken jewelry or things that look whatever, you know, just like stuff I would, uh, you know, walk past like, Meh. oh, I should have pulled a picture up. Um, so like, yeah, yeah. Okay. James, sure. I know I'm encouraging him, but in my brain, I'm thinking, um, this will be a learning experience for him. Well, it turns out it was a learning experience for me. Um, <laughs> I love the picture because he made on the first day of the garage sale, he made, um, by the time I took this picture, let me share it. By the time I took this first picture of his table at the garage sale, he had already made 35 bucks. So this was some of my cast off stuff, you know, pieces that were like broken or pieces that were, you know, the silver, the, the gold tone and rubbed off. So you see the metal or whatever. So yeah, he'd already made 35 bucks at this point. So then at the next later on, I, I shared this picture. This is the garage sale. This is all of my tables. And this crowd of people is around his table. So he ended up making $64 on the first day of the garage sale from cast off stuff that I was like going to not sell or just get rid of. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. I learned a lesson. You know, definitely one man's trash is another man's treasure for sure. So he's like, can we go through more of your jewelry now, mom? Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to look at it. But it was, it was just like, you know, when you get rings in jewelry jars or whatever, and it's like, it's silver tone, but then you look at the back of the ring and you can see like the base metal rubbed through and it's like, I'm not going to list that or yeah. <laughs> I need to come with customers. I mean, I did well. I, we, we, we had a good turnout. It was really busy Friday. It was Good Friday, and then yesterday. Friday was busier than Saturday, um, so we it was okay. It was pretty good, but he made a killing. Now Saturday, he didn't make quite as much, so he was you know, like sitting at his table. He had had this experience Monday, or rather Friday. He had this experience where just everybody was like flocking to his table, buying all this stuff, right? And he was selling things like I said, like watches, broken watches for two dollars, and yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad he did well too. But then, then Saturday, not as many people were. He's like, what happened? Yesterday was amazing. He was expecting the same kind of reaction. And he, so it was a good learning experience. Like, look, just with, with reselling, with this kind of business, any spirits, any, any, I'm sorry, I was reading in the chat and it came out of my mouth. And uh, with any business, there's ups and there's downs. So he, he experienced the, the high on that first day. And then the second day, it was, and he still made $27 on day two, but he was like, I'm going to have over $200 because he had some he had already saved and he, had, he was calculating how much he had. He was like counting his chickens before they hatched. And so, yeah, it was good. It was good for him to see that. So he's kind of held it back and then is, is going to kind of put them out again. So he's going to do it again on the next in the next couple of weeks, we'll have another garage sale clearing out some more. So yeah, it was really good, but he did definitely. Yeah. I definitely um, have got a lot to learn from him too. Yeah, totally. I, I mean, 80 bucks and he had saved, he's been saving his money for a while. So he does now, like he had saved up over $200 now. I never had that much money when I was a kid. But every time my other son gets money, he goes and spends it. You know, James has been just like hoarding his money. So he's got all this like for, for Easter. I was like, guys, I'm going to, we don't really do Easter baskets or anything. So I was like, look, you know, we got 15 bucks each, you know, we'll get your Easter. You let you pick out your Easter bunny and we'll go pick up whatever, you know, you have 15 bucks to buy the stuff. I let them pick, right? Cause they want a kite or a little toy or whatever. So Mikey went and picked out some stuff he wanted. And James is like, can I just, put it in the bank. <laughs> I'm like, sure. I'll put that $15 in your bank account. Okay. So he did. He just like banked it. I'm like, all right. Sounds good to me. So now he's, he's got all this money, which is cool. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me look back in the chat, but I'm so, I am really proud of him. But when I was sharing it, I was so surprised because I was really in my mind thinking, yeah, right kid. People are going to not pay $2 for that. 
for that watch. And nobody's going to buy this can opener for two bucks or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, Kayla says, do you ever want a daughter eventually? You know, I didn't really, when I was, when I was in my childbirth and years, um, I really wanted boys, so I was very happy to get them. And then people were like, oh, well, too bad. Your, your boys are going to leave you, and you won't have any daughters to take care of you. Like, you're no friend of mine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really close to my guys, so we'll see. They're still young. Did I sell any jewelry jars at my yard? So I didn't. I did have some other jewelry that was like a knotted, you know, like it's all tangled in a lap. So I did have a lady just buy that tangled mess for like 10 bucks. So yeah. Uh, what, what's the lesson I learned? Don't discount junk because one man's trash truly is another man's treasure. That is my lesson. Yeah. Um, hey girl with the tourmaline ring. How's it going? Sorry I couldn't help. Um, you never know. This is true. Uh, I do. I, I have some clothes and eight earrings, but I don't, at this moment, I don't know where things are because I have just been like, I have a like a basket. So I'm sorting through stuff. Okay, keep it to sell. Put it in my mystery box. Put it in my <laughs> redonate junk pile that James is picking through. Yeah. Um, boys always come home to their mamas. Thanks, Anne. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, daughter in laws can be great. I hope so. I, I'm just worried that I, no girl will be good enough for my boys. I'm afraid I'm going to be that mom, you know, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, my brother is a spender. I'm a saver, except when it comes to jewelry. Yeah, I mean, same deal. I mean, my, my mom raised us to save. I mean, we weren't so good at it as, as in, in our youth. But as we've gotten older, my my older brother and I especially have been really careful with our money so um, with like no and not wanting to be in debt and things like that so yeah yeah okay <clears throat> i hope so yeah how many i have two boys i have two boys one of them is seven and a half he'll tell you and the other's 10 so they're youngins they're youngins but we're not having any more children i'm I'm old enough to know that I don't need any more children. I'm tired. I'm tired, you know? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Um, talked about the jewelry jar. Oh, and then I'm, I'm glad you're here reminding me about the messages. I get messages and emails from people asking me to help them with jewelry and other things too, merch stuff. Um, and I don't mind helping if I'm able the what I generally tell people is take the pictures and put it in the group because I'm one person and then International League of Thrifters there's like over 7,000 people and then Jewelry Lovers and Sellers which is open now so you can come join um, Jewelry Lovers and Sellers there's like 700 ish it's, it's moving up um, so drop it in there because there's more people in there that can help that have, you get more eyes more ideas more stuff on your listings and um to help with so i do want to help but sometimes i don't know the answers or i'm too busy to you know and i hate to say that but sometimes especially now yeah yeah hey nikki <laughs> how's it going i'm performing my own okay. oh dear uh in a house full of males i couldn't wait for my daughter-in-law to get a woman to take up for me <laughs> um yeah this may sound yeah no never mind i was here ah uh, uh, oh, I have friends who went to school with him. Oh, gosh. They have teenager. I asked them. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I don't look forward to those years. The teenage years kind of scare me. But other than that, print on demand is pretty easy. Yeah, I like it. So, oh, thanks so much, Jennifer. Yeah, I haven't put out, I haven't been putting out as much merch stuff lately. I feel like I did a whole bunch and I don't want to just keep repeating the same tutorials. I mean, I could, but I've already done them, <laughs> you know? Um, when, oh, Anne says, when people ask me questions about jewelry or merch, I send them your videos. Oh, thanks, Anne. I appreciate it. Uh, how do I feel about being in a house full of boys without girls? I feel great. 
Honestly, okay, I'm not one of those girls that gets along with other girls. That's what I was going to say a second ago that I didn't. I my reasoning is, I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys are a lot of you guys are actually girls. <laughs> um and I think you probably have experienced this too. A lot of girls, I may be really putting my foot in my mouth here. In my experience, I've had a lot of cattiness from women. So that's why I don't, I have a few female friends. I tend to get along better with guys, unfortunately. I don't know. And I, I don't, maybe it's, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Like I'm not into some of the things that other girls are into. And it's real, I'm just blanket statementing here. So please don't get offended. But like, I'm not into like girly stuff. <laughs> Usually, I don't know. I'm getting more into it as I've gotten older, like makeup and nails and stuff. Like I have to do my face like this when I talk about makeup. But yeah, I have generally I've had more guy friends. Now I have more female friends because it's inappropriate for me to have male friends, as many male friends as I used to. Before I got married, I had definitely a lot. I mean, I still have guy friends, but I can't like go hang out with my guy friends like I used to, you know? So that has made it really limit, not limiting, but like, mm, I don't have as many close friends. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> like my friend AJ, my friend Brandy, they're like my girlfriends that are just like, these catty businesses need to back off. You know, and then I live in a town, gosh, we really just got off here. I live in a town with a lot of cattiness. So it just, yeah. Oh my gosh, Kaylee. Um, uh, so yeah, I um, yeah, I don't have a lot of girlfriends. I don't, and I, and and when people when when I think I'm making a good girlfriend and the cattiness hits, I'm just like, can't do it. I'm not gonna talk trash about other people. I'm not gonna like if I'm gonna talk trash about a girl, I'm not gonna go like pretend to be her friend. And then like go with my girlfriends and like, oh my gosh, did you see what she was wearing? And oh my gosh, can you believe she said that? Um, and then go be sweet to her face. I just can't do it. And when people try to do like, do, and I see them doing that and I see them going, talking catty about another woman and me and then go be sweet to their face. I'm like, um, you know what? <laughs> I'm out. Cause what's to keep that person from, you know, if, and, and, I, and I've called somebody on it. I'm like, look, you're sitting here trashing this woman to me, but I, I've watched you like be friendly with her and you're nice with her. And how do I know you're not doing the same to me? Like, how do I know you're not going to her and trashing me? And then you're being sweet to me. Like, oh no, no, I would never do that to you. You're my friend. You know, like, what? Like, no, Margaret out, <laughs> you know, can't do it. So anyway, that's my woman thing. I know guys can do it too, but whatever. I get along better with guys. Casey, Kara, oh my gosh. Thank you for the super chat. Is that for real? She says, pay it forward. Margaret needs plastic containers. Join me to help her out. Thank you for that. $100 super chat. That's. We'll talk in a minute. I want to make sure that's not a mistake because, yeah. Um, I... I the 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 boxes because you if you've watched you might have a thing about cardboard boxes, the cardboard boxes from the storage locker never made it. I, I won't bring them into the house. Plus there were two giant. If you've seen Texas size roaches are like this big, right? They're like big like that. And so that I I saw some dead ones in the storage locker. So I put them on my back patio and unboxed them there. And then we saw a big one outside no like you know so yeah thanks Kara that's really generous I really appreciate it uh, thank you so much um wow I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for my 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 talk about the ladies but whatever it's how I feel it's true I don't just I don't I don't back away from it I mean it completely about the cattiness so I'd rather have zero friends I'd rather have one friend that I know is my friend than a big question mark about, are you trashing me? You know, oh. it's integrity, right? It's integrity. It's integrity. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> she says lesbians. Women are the worst. I don't know how lesbians stand it. 
I never thought of it that way. I guess I couldn't be one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's true though. I mean, I guess I would be really, if I was that way, I would be really selective. You know, I have a cousin I get along well with. That's a female. My sister, obviously. My friend AJ, Brandy. But like, I mean, most, like the guys, like when I do merch talk, it's like the dudes. I, I feel like I can be silly and say dumb stuff and I don't know. <laughs> crass. I can be a little more crass. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, those. Yeah. And I know they call them water beetles. Like this giant. Those roaches. Sorry if I'm, if you're watching later and you're like, you're all over the place now, Margaret. I'm talking to people in the chat. So, okay. So the only other thing I was going to talk about was that in <laughs> Casey Care says everyone gives a dollar. Margaret doesn't have to worry about bugs. Oh, they're so gross. Um, I have a funny story. Well, I don't it's funny to me, but maybe it won't be funny to you. A girlfriend of mine, we used to we shared a house together back in early right after college and her boyfriend was who's now her husband was from germany is from germany and one of those crawled on him when he was asleep in, in our old place and she said he woke up and was screaming like jumping and screaming like a little girl because he had never seen anything like it i guess they don't have them in germany but it was like one of those big ones yeah it just makes my skin crawl. Easier to be yourself around guys, Nikki says. I, I agree. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, I'm myself. I mean, a lot of girls don't like me. I don't know if they don't like me. They're just like, it's just the way it is. This is, this. I am this wherever I am. I don't have a different me that I present to different people. And when I see people presenting a different self to a different group of people because of the audience, I mean, generally, I'm just like, you know, no can do. <laughs> anyway, so um, the goal for jewelry lovers I mentioned in another video was to this month talk about um, shells, coral, sea life stuff in jewelry to make it easier. So <laughs> I know this is a big switch, but yeah. So the goal um, for jewelry lovers and sellers this month is to talk about ocean stuff because summertime is coming. And if you've got any jewelry like that, um, <laughs> that would be good to get it listed and to know what it is because that's an area that, well, with coral, I know coral, but like a lot of times with shells, I don't know the names of the different shells and jewelry. So it can be useful to learn those things. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I went way off topic there with the girl talk, but. <laughs> So be it. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, again, Kira, thank you so much for that super chat. And I'm going to call it because we've got to go run some errands on Easter, apparently, and take care of some other downsizing things. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to do my sales update for what's been selling on eBay and Etsy so you guys can see what's been selling and how low they've been selling for. Yeah. All right. Have a great day, guys. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. That's your ticket out of class today is hit the thumbs up button on your way out the door and have a great rest of your Easter weekend. Bye, everybody.